When it comes to social sharing plugins for WordPress, let's just say you have a lot of options. There's Social Snap, NovaShare, Monarch, Social Welfare, and so many more. The core functionality of these plugins is simple. They add social media share buttons to your blog posts and pages to make sharing your content easier, as well as give your website visitors direct links to your social media profiles where they can follow you there too. Now, I have not used every one of these plugins, but I have used a few of them. And in my experience, I would only recommend one of them because it is super lightweight and does not add any unnecessary bloat to your website. In this video, I will show you how NovaShare compares to other social sharing plugins for WordPress in terms of performance. So let's have a look. All right, guys, back when I started blogging, the first social share plugin that I used was Add This, but I eventually switched to Social Pug, which has been renamed to Grow, and now I am using NovaShare. On my travel blog, this is what my homepage looked like with the Grow plugin with links to my social media accounts at the bottom of every page. And this is an example of a blog post with floating share buttons to the social networks of my choice along the side and social buttons after the blog content itself. With NovaShare, I have the exact same functionality with links to my socials at the bottom of every page, as well as floating social share buttons on blog posts and share buttons after blog contents as well. When we look at the size of the pages side by side, you'll notice that Grow makes a total of 26 unique resource requests that total 560 kilobytes, while NovaShare only makes 23 requests with a page size of 417 kilobytes. Looking at the individual requests, Grow loads a few jQuery libraries, this CSS file, and a font file. On the other hand, NovaShare only loads a single CSS file and a single JavaScript file. I must also point out that the document size of NovaShare is about 10 kilobytes larger than Grow, but that doesn't change the fact that Grow loads four times more resources than NovaShare. Another cool thing about NovaShare is that it does not load on pages where you are not using it. And you can see that here on my other website. As far as pricing is concerned, a single Grow license will cost you $34 per year, while a NovaShare license is just $24.95. NovaShare also has the option for unlimited licenses for $125 per year, whereas Grow will charge you upwards of $130 for five licenses and has no options for unlimited sites. Use code TonyTeachesTech for 15% off any NovaShare license of your choice and check out this video right here if you want to see the settings that I personally use on my website for NovaShare. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.